Hello there. Today I'm not playing with junk. This is just a small and short video about the secret message I presented you in the last video. That's the colored pattern you got and I asked what could be the message of this encrypted um, text or what could be the text of this encrypted mes message. All I told you is here in this corner that's the beginning and you read it that way and then the next line and then the next line. Okay, I was pretty surprised to find out that about half an hour after the video was uh, online the first uh, correct answer has been given. So obviously some people immediately uh, recognized what's all about. Other people didn't recognize it and tried all kind of things and were not successful. And then are, uh, have been one or two people who didn't recognize what it is, but with statistical methods and matrices and uh, frequency analysis of the individual colors and uh, how often they uh, are repre represented here, they actually found the right answer and I have respect of such a work. Um, when I confronted them with the real solution, they said, oh, okay, if I knew that, I would have saved one hour of work. So for me, that means some of my viewers invested one hour or even more of work to find out what it is. Well, I will tell you today how it works. Well, so how does it work? You know, my channel is about electronics and computers. And I thought I to take a little bit of both worlds, so that's the electronic part. Resistor color code, which is not all uh, not only used for resistors, sometimes they also code flat ribbon cable with it. And you can see here in this example brown one red 2, orange 3, yellow 4, 5 and 6 for blue. That's the code. You can look it up uh, in the internet, no problem. has all the numbers from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 9. That's the first step. And the next step is pretty easy. You take two colors together, that gives you a two-digit number and that's the ASCII code of the letter or the number or the character, whatever. Okay, let's see how I did it actually. I made it in a quite old-fashioned way. I used QBASIC, which you can see is from 1987 to 1992, uh, at least the copyright here. Uh, and it runs in a virtual uh, machine that runs MS-DOS. Uh, QBASIC because that's the only operating uh, or, uh, programming language that I more or less can handle. So I could have done it probably in C++, but I'm not very experienced in that and, well, uh, my first idea was to, uh, well, to paint the entire thing by hand or maybe with Photoshop, but then I thought, well, if I want to uh, change the text, that's probably a little bit difficult and, uh, let me see, Alt F, yes. So, where is my program? ASCII color, yes, that's the name. A basic program. Uh, yes, what? 
no. Okay, something's wrong. Let me fix that. Okay, I should I shim simply should have pressed no when it asked me to save. I don't know what happened here. Maybe last time I didn't shut it down properly. Let's see if I can fix that with this moiré effect. I have to film it from the screen because I didn't uh, install screen capture and everything. Okay, so first is we go to a graphic screen. Then we set the color 12 for this text. That means this text uh, comes up in red. Then we switch back to color white. Um, we set the X and Y coordinates to 4040. That's a little bit down and a little bit to the right uh, for the first tile. Uh, then they, I don't, know, I don't uh, explain every single line here. You can look at it if you want. Uh, this one is a uh, in key. That's the command for when I press a key. Uh, it takes that character and does something with it. Uh, here we have the conversion. A is the number of the ASCII code of A dollar, which is comes from the input here. So that's where the ASCII code number is generated. Uh, then let me scroll down. Then the ASCII code is uh, split up in tens and units. So for the individual color fields of tens and units of the ASCII code. Then that's the tens. If 10 is 0, then color 16. That's black. If 10 uh, equals 1, color 6, that's brown and so on and so on. 9 would be white as in the text before. Okay. And then the same for the units. 0 to 9 with the corresponding uh, number for the uh, color. Then, um, uh, uh, then it draws one block from the coordinates 4040, which are defined a little bit up there, to, uh, so it draws a diagonal from 4040 to 50, 50, yeah. With the color C, that comes from here, and BF means block fill. So if it draws a diagonal line, it draws a, a filled block around it. Okay, and then we do the same for the units. Of course, we step 10 um, dots. Uh, yeah. 10 dots to the right and draw another square filled with the color K that comes from here, from the unit. And then we go back to the beginning and let's see how that works in reality. Okay, that's the red text here and now I can write and of course, large or uh, big or small characters create a different uh, ASCII code because well, they have a different number. For example, hello. You see the second hello looks different than the first hello. Con Relation. So I'm typing a little bit slow because the tripod is in my way. It's a little bit difficult. And I defined that when I press a, a point, the dot, the program will end. And that's it. Okay, let's do it again. Shift F5 to start. And I type hello. I 
just, oh, what was the original text? I don't have it with me. Uh, I think you solved the puzzle. Is that correct? Does it correspond to that? Yes, I think that's it. Huh? Okay, I spare you the rest of the text. Uh, by the way, there was a word at the end of the text. Uh, no space. This one. And Gottfried Stutz, that's a, a Swiss curse word. It's a very mild curse word. And you can translate it with, uh, could be translated with probably uh, God damn it or damn it. Because go is the first thing and then you realize oh if I say God it's probably a blasphemy so we say Gottfried Stutzwitzisch which is just a normal name so Gottfried Jeffrey and Stutz it's a family name but yeah it has turned into a curse word and then the last three letters were I think Eight seven three or something that was that has no meaning that was just to prevent that anyone could just guess the text or whatever. So if you had all these things right, uh, yeah, you solved it. That's it. Thanks for watching.